but they also start to have lifestyle creep because they increase their standard of living to match what it is that they think that they're making from a threshold perspective. Can you talk about that a little bit? Mm hmm. That lifestyle inflation is something crazy. Right. So what Anton is talking about is the fact that as you start making more money, your mind knows, oh, I'm making more money. So when I go out and when I shop, oh, I can afford that. Oh, y'all want to get an extra bottle? OK, I can afford the extra bottle. Yep. Right. You can do all of these things in your mind. Right. So then you end up spending all of the money because as your lifestyle, as your money increases, as your income increases, so does your lifestyle. And what happens at the end of the day, we all know that if we make this much and we spend this much, we end up with no wealth built because you spent everything that you made. So that lifestyle inflation can really creep up on you. That's why we call it lifestyle creep. You're 20 something ish, maybe 30 ish. All right, let's figure out how to get you paid. And this is why I started to offer like 30 and 30 minute and like hour consultations because it was like, okay, some people just need to talk to somebody. And if you're making 50 to 75K, we got to figure out how to get you paid because listen, there's only two ways to change your financial situation when you're in that kind of a space. And it's one for you to budget yourself to death, right? And for you to be like, okay, I'm not going to go to the movies because making 50 to 75K, you can't really afford a $25 movie ticket. Like, facts. You can but go wait, once they or said twice. I'm crazy, right? Because they say, what well, an average person or whatever. But, but step one, and I want you to continue to add context because this is fire. You are absolutely phenomenal. Step one is not to budget yourself to death, but to figure out how you can chase more bags and get your money up. You need a bigger shovel to dig yourself out, especially if you got student loans, especially if you got a bunch of other crap, right? You need to make more money, 50 to $75,000 in 2022 and going forward is not enough to be able to thrive in this environment in which we live in. I am so glad that you started off with that. And they don't, listen, People don't know. We didn't prep this. We didn't talk about what you're going to talk about or nothing like that. The only thing I said was, yo, let's just kick it. Let's just vibe. Let's just see where the conversation go and have a conversation based off of whatever it is that we're talking about right now. This she, this is 100% her, has nothing to do with anything that I said at all. But you are echoing the same thing that I say on a regular basis. I know, because the people need to hear it. Right. And that's the thing, like going back to the uh, lack of information versus execution. Sometimes you just have to hear things over and over again. Right. Like I listen to motivational stuff pretty much every day because I'm like, OK, I know that I need to hear this as much as I want to say, like, oh, my motivation comes from within. It's because I never want to be broke again. Like, no, I have to listen to it all of the time. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's affirmations all around my house. You can't read the sign behind me, but it says believe in yourself. Right. Yeah, that's dope. It says that for a reason, because I need that reminder. And we'll talk about like the whole women and money thing later. But I think that that's a real thing. Like people just have to hear things repeatedly. So you need to hear the information five to seven times before you even decide, OK, I will execute on that. But that's before you have even executed. Right. So nothing has happened. You've just heard it over and over again. So I don't think that, you know, I don't think we're doing all a disservice. Are we doing all a disservice? No, this is real. And, and and I think that a lot of times it's just exposure. You know, I don't think that people even know what a bank statement look like when you have a hundred thousand dollars plus coming in just in what you paying yourself. And that ain't even got nothing to do with what you actually generating from a business perspective. Right. They have no clue what that looks like. But so exposure is one of the things that I try to give people, which is, I think, one of the reasons why I'm a little bit more effective with the group of people that I rock with. You know what I'm saying? But you are absolutely dope. So let me transition, right? So we, we at 5070. All right, cool. 5075. All right, so let's say I finally do get to that coveted $100,000 mark, right? And back when I was, so I'm 39 now, but when I was 20, 21 years old, I was in a plant making $118,000 a year. I was working myself to death, killing myself doing it, right? I was working 16 hours a day, seven days a week, but I was working at Rouge Steel, which was a big plant here in Michigan or whatever like that before I transitioned and I started, you know, whatever life happened. 
you finally get to that hundred thousand dollar mark and let's just say you're between 100 and 130 right because in my opinion it didn't go as far even then let alone now as as far as i thought it was going to go and i owe taxes because i didn't do things the right way right what are your thoughts and 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 what are your what's your general sentiment towards people that live in again let's just say atlanta and you make between a hundred and a hundred and thirty thousand dollars a year give me the game hey if you live in atlanta you make between 100 and 130 that goes pretty far right i told you i'm from california so <laughs> If you live over there, it's not stretching quite as far. But let's talk about that next level, right? So there's really not that big of a difference between 100 and 130 for the reason you brought up, taxes. Like, you end up with a whole lot of nothing at that rate. You know, even in the state of Georgia, we have a 6% state tax rate. And a lot of people forget that. So at 100,000, you're already paying, what, 30% almost federally plus your state. So. You total, know. You, total if you're a single person and you're making about a hundred thousand dollars a year and you live in any major city you're probably taking home somewhere between 67 and seventy thousand dollars a year yes and let's not forget like that's if you don't own property um and so this is the biggest thing right so what happens is a lot of people will get into that tax bracket so you're already kind of low-key getting smacked when you're in that 50 to 75k range that's when you start to feel the taxes and you look and you're like hmm if you actually look at your tax return right which that's another we need to do a whole class on how to read your tax return real talk but if you actually read your tax return, you're getting smacked by taxes. Now you don't realize it because you're probably getting a refund. So when you move into that next hundred to 130, now you're really getting smacked by taxes and you might start feeling it then because you're going to start to have these questions of, Hmm, I make good money, but I don't know where my money goes. And that's because a lot of it is going to taxes. Well, a lot of people also, you know, once they start, they hit that coveted number because the number is it's a myth to me. It's like gamification, because then what will happen is a lot of times people don't necessarily put up more money. They don't invest more money per se, but they also start to have lifestyle creep because they increase their standard of living to match what it is that they think that they're making from a threshold perspective. Can you talk about that a little bit? Mm-hmm. That lifestyle inflation is something crazy. Right. So what Anton is talking about is the fact that as you start making more money, your mind knows, oh, I'm making more money. So when I go out and when I shop, oh, I can afford that. Oh, y'all want to get an extra bottle? Okay, I can afford the extra bottle. Right. You can do all of these things in your mind. Right. So then you end up spending all of the money because as your lifestyle, as your money increases, as your income increases, so does your lifestyle. And what happens at the end of the day, we all know that if we make this much and we spend this much, we end up with no wealth built because you spent everything that you made. So that lifestyle inflation can really creep up on you. That's why we call it lifestyle creep. 